Sunday. We're hungry, cleaning the apartment. We're sealing a table for outside. We're building a cat box. We're doing all the things and we're going through it because we're balling on a budget and we're making fried rice. Don't mind me, it's Sunday. We're going through it in more ways than one. Okay, let's work with what we've got. We've got rice, my favorite. Kimchi. Yeah, literally. Look at this. Carrot. Snap peas. We've got onion. We don't have egg, but that's okay. I don't always add egg to my fried rice. But we have plenty of plenty of stuff to make this work. Rice. Kimchi. Snap peas. Carrot. Onion. You know we're gonna throw garlic in there. And some soy sauce, a little rice vinegar. We're gonna season it. We're gonna use a lot of ghee. And this is a surefire dish. If you like rice, if you like vegetables, and if you find rice as comforting as I do, this is one, once again, that I make that is never really quite the same. So let's see how this goes. For onion, I just chose to mandolin it today because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a thin onion, but you can also just chop it. bacon this morning and there are two extra pieces of bacon so we're also going to throw that in there because duh I'm going to make this garlic heavy let's see nothing nothing <laughs> okay so time to cook our fried rice heaping bit of ghee and I like ghee because it cooks you can cook it at a really high heat you know what I'm saying The snap peas won't take as long. I'm just gonna put them in a bowl. So if you wanted to chop them up, it would cook faster, but I'm just gonna throw them in a bowl. But these carrots, right? It depends on how much of a bite you want. I don't mind if there's some texture, but we'll throw them in pretty soon after the onions start, you know, cooking along with the garlic and just cook it all together. thought about this before but this cast iron still is great but it's not very deep so we're gonna move everything into the Dutch oven so we can cook it better. That was a, that was a cute idea but this this makes more sense. All right more room to what is going on here? It is uh we're having a day. Okay we're gonna let this just you know it knows what to do. We're gonna let it do its thing. You're making fried rice with vegetables that have already, like leftover vegetables that have already been cooked. Then, in that case, I actually like to cook the rice first so it can crisp up a little bit. But since we're using raw vegetables, I'm cooking the raw vegetables here. But also, like, do whatever you want. There are kind of no rules with fried rice, to my knowledge. How I like to make fried rice, there are no rules. But, you know, it's a feeling. Go with what feels good, you know? It's a feeling. Okay. So if you have fish sauce, you can use fish sauce. I also have this, Red Bow is one of my favorite brands of fish sauce, but they have a salt. So I can just use this as well, which is great. And then also some tamari. You can add some tamari while your vegetables are cooking if you want to use that in, in place of salt. But we'll definitely add some more once egg rice is added. If you have chili crisps, add some chili onion crisp. This is always good. If you have some sambal, add some sambal. Maybe even some gobuchan if you're feeling, you know, if you're just feeling adventurous. This is the place to add the flavor. Add all the flavors that you love. I'm going to add a little ginger. 
gonna add our kimchi. And my kimchi's really gingery, so this is gonna be a strong ginger fried rice. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. And then once our vegetables start to soften up, we'll add the rice. You know, don't be afraid to use a week old rice. This isn't a week old, but you know, I'm just saying. It's actually better to use old rice for fried rice. I find that it, if it's if it's fresh, it's too soggy. And then you just have like a, a rice mush, which no, thank you. I, I love chili crisp. I love them so freaking much. I would eat this. I do eat this by the spoon. You can put it on everything. Eggs, rice, meat, cucumbers, whatever. You know what, we're just gonna... We're going through it. This is why we're here. So it's like, use what we have, right? All of it. Use it all. We'll add a little sambal for... Why not? More flavor, more flavor, more flavor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like fermenting up in here. Okay. Also skip it if you don't like spicy. Do like about a like about a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then you can always add more. You can add some seeds for a little crunch, a little bite. Add some sesame seeds. You can add any. I mean, add chia seeds. I don't care. People add chia seeds to fried rice. Maybe you can be the first. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so yummy. Okay, so the flavor is great. We don't even need to add anything else. The flavor, the spice, maybe if you wanted to like cut the acidity a little bit, add a little honey or even a little sugar, but I think I'm okay. I like what's happening here. But I want the, the rice to get a little crispy. So I'm just gonna kind of evenly distribute this and I'm using the largest burner that covers the most surface area so that the rice can crisp up. And I'll turn up the heat just a little bit, but keep an eye on it and then you can keep coming back and checking on it. I'm gonna run out of something that I use on the regular, like add it to your list just all the time. I have a constant ongoing list. Chili crisp, always on there. Okay, so I don't have sesame seeds exactly, but I have this everything seasoning. And if you know, the everything seasoning is like great with everything. So, and I mean, it has garlic and onion and poppy seeds and sesame seeds. So. I think we really just took it up a notch with this. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Mm, 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 mm. It's good to let it cook so the flavor can infuse more. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're talking. It's sticky underneath here. Move it all around. And then if you wanted to add egg, you could just create a little well in the middle of your pot here. Crack, cut an egg or two, whisk it around, get it nice and scrambled, and then mix it in with the rest of it. Egg optional. Okay, this is, you know, use your discretion. I'm hungry, so I think we're good to go. Mm. Now we eat. This is the best part. God. Mine's still steamy. Oh, God, it's a little too hot. I need like be patient. It's so good. And I'm, I'm glad that I left the piece whole, the snap piece whole because it adds texture. I completely did not throw the bacon in there. It's okay. It's so good. The onions, when you add the onions in first like that, they kind of caramelize. It's got heat. I'm getting a little <whistles> Sunday comfort, baby. Whenever you're going through it, just make yourself some rice with butter, right? When you really are going through it, make fried rice. 